Welcome, Brian Keeler here. I'm going to uh, show you some uh, final touches that I'm doing on a figure painting that I have here. It's based on a, a Greek myth of uh, Cyanus. And um, but before I do some of the final touches, I'm going to show you the progression of, of various stages that the painting went through uh, uh, to get to where it is now. So I'm going to step behind you and get on my computer. If you would uh, zoom in here on this uh, painting, come in close. So what you're looking at now is the um, initial drawing stage. It represented um, a number of hours, I don't know, uh, maybe five or six hours, just getting the, the drawing down. And I'm, uh, I had these models posed for me. I had a uh, photo session and I did several themes and this is uh, this one. And this is stage one. I'm going to show you stage two. So this is where I'm beginning to apply the paint and uh, there are various ways you can start this when I'm starting with the, the lights of the flesh tones and starting to uh, block in the uh, various uh, phases of it here. And then the next stage here, I'm um, just uh, continuing to work on the light but uh, more of the mid-tones and half-tones on the figures and um, I have a uh, middle tone gray background and so everything that I'm painting here is uh, lighter than the uh, background, more or less. There's some values that are about the same value as the background. And then stage four is here. And you can see that I've um, blocked out the, uh, the woman's head. I wasn't satisfied with the way it was coming. So if that happens to you, you can just use a, um, an opaque uh, white. And I mixed it with some other colors to approximate the value of the... Uh, of the canvas. And the next stage here, it's uh, made uh, significant progress working on the, uh, the garments and uh, redone the woman's head. And uh, although it's uh, an allegorical painting, I'm still uh, endeavoring to get uh, a reasonable likeness of these uh, models that, uh, that I know. Okay, that's stage five and the next stage. Stage six, I have the uh, composition pretty well blocked in the, the background. I'm uh, keeping uh, kind of gestural with the large brush strokes, but uh, purposefully uh, <coughs> vague. Okay. And this next stage, stage seven, is um, just about how it looked uh, just before I, uh, where I'll uh, reconvene, where I'll start up when we go over to the canvas. And I've worked on the uh, the glass and, uh, and further articulated a lot of the uh, the shapes and uh, softened edges. So that's the stage that um, I'm at here now. And now, if you'll come over here to my uh, canvas, if you'll walk around here. Uh, first, uh, you come in on this painting here. This is a another version of uh, a number of the same models from the uh, same photo shoot, but I'm doing a um, in different theme, also uh, based on some classical paintings of um, Caravaggio, and uh, I think George de la Tour did a version of this also. So I'm using a similar lighting and, uh, and palette, but uh, making it somewhat contemporary too. So you'll notice that this person and these two um, models were also in this one. Okay, so now if you'll come over here to my canvas, and I'm going to um, do a few more things here. Um, what I was doing just before you came, if you'll come down to my palette here, I'm mixing up a, a flesh tone here. And I have a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow ochre. And I even have a little bit of this uh, green in here to, uh, to mitigate it, to uh, take down some of the uh, color. So um, I'm putting these uh, strokes on in kind of a linear fashion to uh, to go with the form and I'm also uh, softening an edge right here but I'm purposefully keeping the uh, the border um, a choppy and serrated sort of a um, what's called a vibrating edge and I've explained that in other uh, of my uh, video demonstrations here you know, rather than an airbrush type of uh, edge, it's a uh, a 
vibrating edge is what it amounts to. So these strokes that I'm putting on here are going with the form of the figure. I oftentimes will, uh, as you can see right here, getting them to go around. And the, the uh, paint's going out sort of like a pastel without too much solvent is what I, the similarities that I, that I have right now. And I just saw an exhibit in Washington, D.C. of uh, Mannerist prints. And uh, if you look at uh, those prints, these were by Belotius, as I think his name is. And their uh, strokes with their pen have a way to go around the, uh, the uh, form of the figure. And that's what I'm uh, doing right here, is to have these brush strokes go with the, uh, the form. And the idea is to show the process of the uh, painting rather than uh, rather than uh, uh, covering it up like an like an airbrush. Okay, I'll come down here to this figure. Part of what I'm doing also, in addition to having these strokes go with the uh, form of the uh, figure is to um, uh, soften edges. Uh, <clears throat> so um, we want to be uh, judicious as to where edges are crisp and where they are uh, softer. Okay, I'm just going to do uh, one more uh, thing with the um, the highlight on the um, model's uh, necklace. And I, I've been working from photographs, so I have a, a photograph here that I'm referring to. But right now I'm just going to pop in some of these highlights on the, uh, on the necklace here. I have to go back and get some more paint here. And I'm just using um, mostly uh, white, but I'm putting a little bit of yellow in there too to kind of get the uh, the warmth of this uh, necklace. These highlights want to occur at certain places uh, to. Uh, help um, suggest the um, the way the uh, necklace goes over the uh, form. For example, right here it's going over her um, collarbone and this is the part of the, the round part of the, the neck here. And uh, as long as I <clears throat> have to get some more paint The general idea with oil painting is going from uh, thick to thin, so I'm putting it on with more impasto as I build it up here. Okay, I think that's about um, all I wanted to uh, do here for this demonstration in this um, final stage, uh, maybe if you just kind of pan around the uh, the painting to show up. Uh, one other thing I can point out is this uh, double light direction, which I also had in the uh, other painting. I had them pose in my uh, barn, so there was a, a, a cool light coming in from here. Then I had an incandescent light on the, um, on the models, and uh, that's why we have two light sources. So uh, I have a little bit more work to do on it, but that's about as far as I'm going to uh, take it for now. So thanks so much for your attention.